Do you have an end date? Have you started even planning for the end of the school year? In today's video, I'm going to talk about how I'm going to take the crazy last few months we had, turn it around, and really focus on the last few weeks of school ending strong. So the funny thing is, my word for this 2020-21 school year was consistency. Now, come all the way up to December, I really feel like I did that. Then we came back from Christmas break, Christmas vacation, slowly started into it, and then everything went downhill. If you're new here, hi, my name is Tanya. I'm a homeschooling mom to four kiddos, one on the way. And this is our seventh year homeschooling. And I feel like this is one of the most roller coaster intense years we've had ever. In seven years of homeschooling, I really feel like I just can say that. More than I feel like it's been more crazy, I feel like than it's been having toddlers or babies or newborns around. Partly because I feel like this year I had a third grader and a fifth grader, and that kind of matters. Secondly, I spent two and a half months throwing up TMI, but I was sicker than sick and couldn't cook my kids dinner. And we had emotions from preteens. Like we just had all the things this year. Um, but honestly, like I said, my word was consistency and we were really good until January of 2021. And we just really couldn't get back on track. The second I feel like we started to, I got sick and then something else would happen and then life would happen and we just really couldn't find that groove. And so when I wanted to end by the holiday in the end of May, I was like, how do I do this? And so I went back to the beginning and I encourage you to do the same. Go back to the beginning of the school year or the beginning of the term or whenever you set goals for yourself and for the homeschool year, remind yourself what those goals were and see what you need to do to accomplish those goals by the end of the school year. Um, I had a lot of plans to nature journal, which again, I feel like we could, did in the fall. Um, I had a lot of plans to do character building and Bible, and we did in the fall. And when, I became, when it became survival mode for me, we did our small devotional, which is great, don't get me wrong, um, we did math, reading, a little bit of writing, teeny bit of grammar, and that was it. There was no fun. It was like, get your schoolwork done, see you later. I had no energy for anything, and I don't want to end the school year like that. I want to end the school year on a brighter note, a funner note. Yes, we will still be doing the math, the reading, the writing, the grammar, but I'm adding back in nature journaling. I'm adding back in the in-depth Bible curriculum that my father's world, which is what we use, um, has. And I'm gonna try to add in some fun art, nature, journal, lean days along the way too. We are going to end the first week of June. That first week of June after the holiday I really want it to be a fun week. My kids aren't gonna know that they already ended school <laughs> the week prior, but I will probably do fun math games that week. We'll make it fun outside and do water balloons and pool activities. I want that week to be complete, we're ready for summer, fun. So to get us up there, I went through every one of my kids' curriculum. I went through where they're at, what they've accomplished, and where I want them to be by the time we are done. And I really analyzed the why behind it because kids don't have to finish curriculum. Um, public schools do not finish every book, if not any book. And so when it came to history, we skipped a good seven, eight weeks in the middle of history. And we skipped until um, I felt like that was subjects that I wanted. I combined it a couple weeks into one week and I just consolidated the big topics, the timeline I wanted to cover so we would be done in time. Dogs playing, sorry, in the background if you can hear that. Math, math 
is something we continue and continue and continue. So like we have four weeks of school left. However, my daughter just started math six in teaching textbooks and um, that's okay. That's just, we'll pick it up again. She'll do some in the summer because we do school year round, but we'll pick it up at a different time. Um, spelling's the same way. So whenever they're done with, wherever they end up in their spelling at the end of the year, it's fine. We'll pick it up at the end of the, the next term when we start school again. It's really just history that I needed to wrap up and close as well as we had some art projects that I really wanted to get done this school year that went along with our science and our history. And I really wanted to do nature journaling this year. So we're gonna pick up all of those again, at least do a couple of days of each of them. So we can wrap up some of those big projects that I, the fun projects I wanted to get done. And now, does that mean we will do some on the weekend? Probably, <laughs> but that's okay too. I wanted to make sure my kids did it in the school year with, okay, get it done, get it done, get it done, get it done. Like just the checklist stuff. I wanted them to have the fun too. So that's what I'm adding in as well as the everyday work that needs to get done as well. And that's how we're ending the school year. This video is short and sweet. There's not a whole lot that, um, I feel like I really need to add. We, like I said, oh, I wanted to do an in-depth Bible. So we started that again with my bigs. It really is just the writing down the scriptures that we're studying for my big kids. My little um, Dylan, who is six, sometimes writes down the scriptures as well, depending on the day and how much time we have. And then another one that we did a lot in the fall was character building. And so we're gonna add in a couple big life journal podcast mornings as well because I really love that we did the big life journal in the fall and that was so nice they had sent it to us and we did a review I'll leave that video linked because y'all that curriculum was such a blessing and I'm so grateful for it so you'll have to let me know if you used it I have plans to order the preteen is it preteen or teen one for my daughter not this probably school year, but the next school year, she'll be bummed because she really thinks she's getting it this school year. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to end the school year now. At first I was dreading it, but when you go back to the beginning and you really look at what your goals were, sometimes you might see like, dang, I did way too many. Or you might see that you've accomplished more than you think you have. And even though we haven't really schooled, from February through March, half of April, we got more done, more done than I thought we did. And I'm very grateful for that. So I hope that if you take your curriculum and you look back on what your goals were, you will see that you also did more than you thought you had. And you can end the year strong on a good note, figure out what's important to you and add in the fun if that's something that you need to do as well. I will be talking about all things summer <laughs> come Tuesday because I have some fun things planned for that. Also on Sunday's video, don't forget to check out, I'm gonna talk about how I actually planned out in my planner the end of the school year and why I did it the way I did it and that's what's coming up next. So I hope you guys are subscribed so you don't miss those videos and we will catch you in the next one. Bye friends.